Hey everybody, this is Nathan Turner with Turner Auto Group here in Opelika, Alabama. I've got a 2014 Audi Q7 S-Line Supercharged for you today. Absolutely stunning car. This one's got 91,000 miles on it. Flawless condition. I'm telling you right now, perfect vehicle for that new driver to get all your safety features and all, basically all the options that you would really need and what they would want to have absolutely fantastic car we're going to do a full walk around on this one today i'm going to show you some of the nicer features on the outside of it we're going to dive on the inside i'll go over some of the features there as well and then i'll tell you to how to tell you how to find us online so 2014 audi q7 s line absolutely stunning body style on these audi kind of squared off the new body styles i'm a huge fan of this generation for sure the lines on these are absolutely beautiful. Old school Audi grill, I love it. Um, just so much more rounded, uh, a little just more unique. Coming over here to the front headlight, you do have the high end projector headlight. You do have the LED surround, which I will show you towards the end of the video. You do have your blinker sequence down here, which is really pretty at night, how they basically light up and with your fog lights right down there below camera up front as well under that Audi um, badging you can see that right there and this is the Quattro version so all the Audi Quattros that means four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive I should say now if you buy an Audi that is not a Quattro ultimately you just bought a very very expensive Volkswagen so the Audi generations always have had that Quattro line in there and that is the one you want. Coming around to the back, full LED tail lights. To me, it all started with Audi as far as that LEDs. They've always done such an amazing job on their lighting. It's just, it's fantastic. They always look beautiful. So you got the 3.0 turbo in this one. So anybody that's owned an Audi before, you know that 2.0 turbos are a little problematic um, especially when they get some miles on them but these 3.0 turbos are absolutely fantastic amazing motors and with the supercharged on this one it even is even better so coming around here you've got the um, the black fender right there as you can see there brand new continental sport tires wrapping those beautiful 19 inch wheels actually sorry that is a 21 inch wheel i don't know where that 19 came from so on the s line the s line that you get you get the colored mirror caps so body color exterior mirror caps you get the blacked out front grille you get the nicer wheel and then you get the blacked out sides um at the bottom of the door handle or door door sills and then you get the blacked out above and below the windows um, this one does have your roof rails on the top. No roof rack here technically because it doesn't have the crossbars, but it does have that roll, uh, the roof line um, rail. Get your supercharged badging here. All right, so this one is equipped with your IntelliKey. So I've got the key in my pocket. You can actually walk right up to the car. You've got this little button. So if you push that, it'll lock it up. If you grab the door handle, it'll unlock. So full black interior, fantastic shape. Seats are in great shape. No rips, tears, flaws whatsoever. Very nice. You do have the Audi WeatherTech or all weather mats there. Audi has always been a very simplistic car manufacturer. Everything on the inside is very simple, very easy to use, very nice. Dashboard is in great shape, no rips, tears, discoloring, or anything like that. Coming over to the driver or passenger side door, you got your Bose sound system below. You do have a nice big cup holder right there in the door, along with your unlock and lock and the power window button and very soft touch materials over here on the door. So very, very comfortable. Passenger side, as you can see, is also power, full power, 
along with your power lumbar and that not only goes in and out it will go up and back so that's even better as you open up you do have your s-line badging as you can see right there see if i can get the shadow on it very nice aluminum kick plate as you're getting in So back here in the back, we'll start with the door. Same thing, you got your Bose sound system. You do have your uh, big cup holder down there at the bottom. Nice little small ashtray or trash can right here. Obviously this is a non-smoker though. No smoking has gone out in this one. This was a family vehicle here locally. You do have your auto door lock buttons back here, which is very nice, along with your power windows. And then you also have, as you can see the top here, is a privacy screen for the back passengers. These windows are obviously tinted, but you do have that screen still to make it even better. All of your back heat controls and AC controls right back here, you do have auto uh, heat and AC, which, which is super nice. And then you have your vents back here on the center and then you also have the vents on the side pillar which is so nice because that kind of blows right there at your face um, with the center ones sometimes that gets a little lost doesn't get as, get as much heat and air, and air back where it needs to go but that will make it work a lot better this one is also equipped with your dvd system in, in the back of the headrests you can play two different dvds or the same dvd All right, so let's walk around the back here. One touch door, you push the little button, it'll op open up for you. So full carpet back here, very nice. There's two, two seat seats back here. So you've got two in the front, three in the middle, and two in the back. So full seven passenger SUV. Plenty of room, it's actually pretty nice. that if you've got that third row up, you can see, obviously as you go up, it does get a little bit more narrow but that is a huge amount of room at the bottom down there. I can fit, I'd say three golf bags behind the third row with the third row up. So that's a very nice thing. You do have a small little cubby area underneath the floor with the standard Audi medical bag. Very nice, you can see the carpet, it's in very good shape. No stains, no issues back here. Now you do have three, count them, three sunroofs in this thing. So the third row passengers have their own sunroof. It will cut, it does not open, but you do have a cover for it. So if you don't want the sun beating down back here, you can close it up. And then you've got the big one up in the very front. Now I will say another thing about Audi is Audi is a class leading or really manufacturer leading sunroof maker uh, they have done, figured out a way to do it to where it works so well to have a huge sunroof and then they keep the line on the roof uh still looking great now i will say another thing audi it prides themselves on traction and performance so that is why most audis have this roof line to where it slopes down in the back because it's 50 50 weight distribution that is exactly what they're going for so per max performance anywhere while you're driving as you also see, you do have air vents in the back here in the pillar for the third row passengers, which is very nice as well. Two cup holders back here, couple netting pieces back here to keep some stuff in. And then another thing, this does has, have active suspension. So you've got two buttons right over here to where if you need to lower the back of the car, you can actually lower and raise pending on what you need to load into the back and all that. All right, so button, we'll close it back up. Dual exhaust coming out the back really sporties it up as well. Supercharged badging right there. Very nice, heavy doors. The, when these things close, it feels, it's very, the sound is just, you can tell it's a very well-built, it's like a bank vault in this thing. So you do have on the door, 
Let's start down below. You've got your Bose sound system. You have your power rear hatch. Up from there, you do have your child locks, power windows, and you have your power mirrors. And they do fold as well. So if you're going through a car wash or anything like that, you can fold them in. Just above that, you've got your automatic memory seating, power door locks, and the final button right there is your blind spot button. So you can actually turn those on and off. And then if you see just through that windshield or window right there, the black spot on the side mirror, that actually lights up amber. So if you are driving down the interstate or around town, that lights up amber just letting you know you do have somebody in your blind spot. And if, it, if you turn your blinker on at the same time, it will beep at you. So driver's side, you do have full power seats there along with your lumbar support. And just see the carpet mats or the carpet flooring. If I can get this, there we go. Get the sun out of there. Very nice, very well built. I mean, this is kind of like the old school Mercedes to where they just really overbuild these cars. All right, so we'll hop in. I've got the key in my pocket again. So Audi puts the auto start stop down here, push, fires right up for you. So service do light, we do have that on. The service has been done. Um, it is not due for another service until 95,000 miles. It's sitting, as you see, at 91,177. Uh, that light was just not due. You actually have to have a shop that has the ability to reset that light. Um, so we will get that done, obviously. Very nice gauges here. I love the teardrop look on both sides with the information cluster in the middle. Nice screen over here to the left. You've got a couple buttons for your parking sensors, um, a couple check lights and everything like that. You can adjust your um, lighting behind the tachometer there, reset trip odometers and everything there. You've got valet mode over here along with um, a, a screen off button. And then that button at the bottom is for your um, glove box. So you can hit that, the glove box comes down. You do still have all your manuals in here, a couple books underneath that as well, and it is a felt lined glove box, which will keep all the rattles down and everything you put in there. So this one does have navigation, so we'll hit the nav button below. Pulls the navigation system right up. Very quick system too. So you've got an info button, telephone button, and menu button. The menu button, so you do, I'll kind of show you first what I'm looking. So you've got Navi, Info, Telephone, Menu, and on the other side over here, you've got Radio, Media, um, Tone, which is obviously for speakers, and then you've got your car button over here. So the center knob, you basically can turn, and it will go through all of these buttons that I just mentioned as well. So that's the menu button and you can kind of scan through. I like using the buttons because it's a whole lot quicker. You've got your full radio screen there, all your presets. Fantastic sound system. This Bose sound system is one of the best that I've heard. Um, I don't know if it's because of all of the, all the speakers that they've got in here, um, but it really, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Nice big AC vents front and center. You do have your flashers, your tr uh, traction control system there. CD player still, so we do still have your CD player. You hit open there, you've got SD card slots, SIM card for your navigation, and another SD card. So you can load music there. The good thing is you still have USB um, connections. You still have Apple, um, no Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto, but you do have the Bluetooth capability um, for all the music that's on your phone to be played through the speakers of the car. So down here again, you've got, this is the knob you can turn to control that screen, your volume knob right there. 
and then you do have your start engine button and your stop engine button. Don't know why they did two there, but they did. Nice gear shift, bag below it, in good shape. This is a kind of a polished aluminum look. It's got a couple scratches on it, but all in all, in very, very nice shape. Let me pull it down into lower gear here so we can see all this. So all of your um, AC control buttons down here, fan speed, where you want the air to come out. It's your obviously heat or cold. You got heated seat and cooled seats here. This is the prestige version. So the prestige version, it's kind of, I guess, a loaded out version of this car that comes with everything automatically in there with all of the Distronic cruise control. You do have the blind spot. You have all the navigation standard, the heated seats, the cooled seats, all that. It does come with the rear AC controls and everything like that too. So you pretty much have everything. So it is a mouthful to say, but this would be a 2014 Audi Q7 S-Line Supercharged Prestige version. So pretty much everything under the sun you've got on this vehicle. So I will put it back over here in reverse. Give you a view of your backup camera. On the left side of the screen, obviously, is where your parking sensors will come in handy. As you get closer to something, those areas will light up red, green, yellow, and red. Red obviously means stop. And then you do have your nice big screen over on the right side. But you can go to different views there. So let's see, let's start at the top here. So you've got just the plain screen. If you go down one, that was down two. Down, one, down this way, so you've got two views out the front of your vehicle. That's using the front camera that I showed you before. Normal view there. Back view. And then that one's two out the back. So very, very nice ways. And I'm telling you, in 2014, this was way before its time. Uh, with all these screens and all these cameras, it, they look they're great as far as the clarity of them uh, they've done a very very good job with them so let's put that one back in park real quick so again you've got the nav screen you can go forward and back or zoom in and out there as well but let's hit the car button let me show you something here real quick so with this one this has got the active air suspension on it so we're in comfort right now so it's just normal if you put it in auto, if you're driving down the road, it'll basically adjust to where it needs to. So if you get on the interstate, the car goes over 80 or goes over 70, the car will actually drop, give it a little bit better aerodynamics and give it a little better gas mileage. Off-road version, it will lift up uh, maybe two inches. And then if you go into full lift mode, this car will actually lift up uh, even more so. I think it goes all the way up to four. So there's a couple different suspension systems on here um, that you can actually pick from, which is also very nice. So very nice sound system. It's very hard to make sound systems come through for sure. Nice and neat, uh, nice and clear and everything over a phone, but so right side of the steering wheel, you've got your navigation button, volume, and your voice command button. You do have some paddle shifters back there for the sport, or sport uh, setting in this. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have a toggle button, which basically goes through this main screen for miles per gallon, for all the settings, as well as um, for your channel changer. Mode, we'll put it through different settings here, phone, radio and your miles per gallon obviously as this is sitting here it is ticked down a little bit these things are going to get anywhere and my website will actually say uh exactly how how many miles per gallon but i'm guessing 18 19 around town 23 24 on the highway um depending on how heavy of a foot or light of a foot you have it'll get better or worse but like i said 91,000 miles on it not 
due for another service until middle of 95,000 miles. So plenty of room on that. And this thing is absolutely ready to go. So I am going to leave it on auto. I think you're gonna be able to see the LED lighting. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the flasher so you can see those blinkers too, because I think it looks, it's just so pretty how the, they did those blinkers. All right, so you do have the blinkers on the side mirrors. And coming around here in the front, you do have your full LED lighting around that a projector headlight there. Nice, bright blinker system down there below. LED. They did really such a great job with these vehicles. So this is a 2014 Audi Q7 S-Line Supercharged Prestige Edition. Beautiful car. Check us out online at turnerautogroupllc.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and hey, you're already on YouTube because you're watching this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe video. Every vehicle that we get in inventory, we put on here so we can help our customers shop from wherever you are. Obviously, we love for our customers to come in, shop with us, spend time, go through the cars with them, um, and we'd love to talk to you through that and show you around the car ourselves, but I know not everybody has the time to do that these days, so that's what these videos are for. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you on the next one.